Um, I figured I would give you guys a quick um, Clomid update and walk you through my morning makeup routine and have some coffee because it's Sunday and I need it. So, <clears throat> today is cycle day 11. And I guess let me just kind of recap on Clomid. Um, I luckily did not have any side effects from it, which was really, really nice. Um, I took it for the five days and it takes um, seven to 10 days after your last pill, um, which was Wednesday, today is now Sunday, which means this coming Wednesday, the day before Valentine's Day, um, if Clomid worked, I will be ovulating on Wednesday and um, hopefully it happens. I don't have really high expectations because I know it doesn't work for everyone and I know it can take a couple cycles before it does. So I'm not naive to the fact that it may or may not work. Um, but I am hopeful. I really am. I hope you guys don't think it's weird that I'm drinking coffee in my bathroom. I need it and I'm getting ready, so don't touch. Um, but I am getting ready. I'm actually getting ready to go to church today. I think that I definitely need some Jesus. And Matt's not here. For those of you who don't know, Matt is my husband. He is actually hunting this weekend. Um, and from the sounds of it, he didn't get catch anything. They were hunting quail. I'm not really into all that, but he is, and he's having a good time, so that's all that matters. Um, and in case you guys are curious as to anything that I'm using, um, I just stopped at Bare Minerals and picked up a new, um, foundation, because I was getting close to be running out, but it's the Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Skin Clearing. I'm not quite sure how well you guys will see that. And <laughs> funny story. So I go to Bare Metals yesterday and I tell her, you know, I need to be color matched because I'm not quite sure what shade I am. And she tells me that I am the lightest shade they offer. And I guess no surprise there. I'm very, very pasty. It was just really funny, and I won't forget what shade I am. <laughs> so there's that. So I've just got some concealer, and I am no way, shape, or form any type of makeup expert at all. So I kind of do the same basic routine every day. And sorry if I'm not looking into the camera. I'm just, I've got a mirror that I'm trying to watch while I do this if you can understand. Okay, so I just got some concealer because I do have a little bit of dark circles under my eye. <sighs> Hopefully that helps. And I'm very excited to try this foundation. The one thing I love about Bare Minerals is they have the little lock um, so that the foundation doesn't spill all over the place and you get just what you need. It kind of reminds me of a salt and pepper shaker. At least that's what my dad referred to it yesterday and I was like, yeah, that's about right. So you just pour a little in, and I take my brush. And I've always been a fan of Bare Minerals. Everything is so light and fresh, and it honestly feels like I'm not wearing anything, which is my absolute favorite feel of makeup. <clears throat> and it's, it says it's supposed to be full coverage, so we will see. I might need a little bit more. Let's try. That's very nice, actually. It's definitely a full or medium to full coverage, I would say. But it feels very nice. And then they actually had a sale on, or 30% off on, I guess, their holiday collection. Of course, I had to snap something up, right? And I actually got, 
Excuse me. This uh, Bare Minerals Stellar Glow Six Shade Mega Highlight Palette. And it is so pretty. <laughs> but I don't use highlighter, so I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. So we're just going to dab her with it today. I'm actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and put my eyebrows on really quick before I forget. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't update every day on Clomid. I felt like it was pointless. There was nothing to update you on besides, hey, I took my pill. Um, and no side effects. Of course, it's different for everyone, but it was very nice. Um, well, I guess if I actually, if I had noticed anything on it, um, a couple of the nights, and I took it at 6 p.m. at night, so hopefully if there were any side effects, I was just kind of sleeping them off, um, but I did notice a couple of nights I got a little hot while I was sleeping and kind of woke up a little warm, but like nothing crazy, so it wasn't terrible, <clears throat> um, and then right after the Clomid, my doctor prescribed me um, Estradol that I took three, three tablets in the morning, three tablets in the evening, and they were one milligram uh, tablets. And today, I believe, today is the last day. No, tomorrow, Monday will be the last day of those um, and then, as I said, this Wednesday, the 13th, is hopefully the correct timeline that I ovulate. Put my eyebrows on. That actually looks nice. I am actually very, very, very happy with this um, foundation. Not that I, I mean, I knew I would because it's Bare Minerals and I've used their product before and I've actually never been disappointed. It's just, it's really nice to not have to, or it's nice to know that you can wear a powder foundation, get the coverage you want and not have to go through with liquid because liquid for me, I don't like the way it sits and I, I can't even describe it. I just don't like the feeling of liquid foundation on my skin. So to be able to find a powder one that I like is honestly a great, great thing. Okay, eyebrows are done. Um, let me go ahead. I don't ever typically use eyeliner. I use my eyeshadow palette. So that's what I'm gonna do. Does anybody else open their mouth when they're doing anything related to their eye? I will always find myself like, that's not the cutest. Put some on the top. And then the other guy. Been consistent with church. Don't let me fool you. Um, it's kind of been an off and on thing. And I'm always torn because I I don't care. Um, I don't care whether a church is big, too big, or too small. Um, I just haven't found one that I'm absolutely feel at home at, if that makes sense. Okay. So I'm actually going to go to one down the street for me. And hopefully it's a good service. but it looks nice so I'll take it for sure and then I for some reason like I always need chapstick in the morning am I the only one that's always a thing I actually really really I liked both the foundation and the highlighter palette that's actually really exciting. <laughs> so let me go ahead and finish with mascara. 
and then I'll do my hair and I'll come back. So here's the finished look in case you guys were curious. Um, bare minerals lip gloss and I gotta go running late to church. <laughs>